Hello friends and family, it's Michelle from Pulse with a Purpose and I am here today to talk trash and show you guys my empties and no, this little girl here, her name is Miracle, um, I don't know if she's made an appearance on YouTube yet or not, but I got her back in October and she is rotten, but no, she's not part of my empties, but I'm sure she'll be over here being nosy because I pulled out the blanket and she thinks it's time to play, time to take a nap, as you can see. So, yeah, she's full of it. Um, anyway, I'm here to share my empties for the last few months. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I've got quite a bit of stuff to share. Again, it's mostly food items, and again, if you are new to my channel, um, I am a single mom to two little fur babies, this one here and Jackson, who may appear over here at some point in this video, who knows. Um, he's over to the side right now, being a good boy, unlike this little girl. But, um, yeah, so it's just me, so it takes me a while to accumulate enough empties to show, so I usually do an empties haul um, every couple of months or so. And, um, uh, uh, most of it is food related. So, yeah, um, I like to cook. And if you follow my channel now, it went from more of a paper crafting channel to, like, cooking and grocery haul kind of channel. So, yeah, that's what you're going to see mostly in my empties hauls. So, let's get to this, if she will let me. So, the first thing I have here is the Centrum Silver Vitamins. I take one of these every day. I have taken one a day for the last several years. I am These are geared towards, it says I think people over 50, but my actual um, doctor, he actually um, has prescribed both me and my parents who actually go to the same doctor as well. He has prescribed us these since we were like in our early 30s and he said that he takes them as well and he is not 50 either. So, um, yeah, so I take one of these a day. I do prefer the gummies more than the actual pill pill, but I coupon. So if I get these on coupon, and then these are the ones that I take. But the gummies are preferred. Okay. Then we have some of the Great Value Kobe and Monterey, Kobe and Monterey cheese, and this is the cubes. I love these, and so does she, as you can see. Um, we use these to sneak pills in. Um, last uh, couple of weeks, she's had to take a pill because um, her and her brother were playing, and she did something to her legs, so I had to take her to the vet. She got uh, prescribed some medication. I mean, she didn't break her leg or nothing like that. Um, as a matter of fact, the doctor didn't even do any x-rays because by the time I got her to the doctor, she wasn't limping or anything anymore, but they did give her some uh, medication just to help with swelling and stuff like that. So, these are also good if you have fur babies and you need to hide a pill. So, but I know a lot of little kids, I know when I have my little bonus niece over, she likes these as well. So, just a good little fun snack. Nope. Next thing is the Cheez-It, and these are the Extra Toasties. Um, I don't really care for just the regular Cheez-Its, but I do like the Extra Toasty. They just have that little more oomph to them, you know? So these are really, really good. So I get these from time to time when I want a different kind of snack. Um, Let's see. Here we have... Let's see. These are the lint truffles, and these are the fudge swirl milk chocolate ones, and they come in a package like that. These, any kind of lint truffles are delicious. These are really, really good, though, so highly recommend those if you see them somewhere. This is a pantry staple. I always have a jar of this usually in my pantry and this is the ragu 
traditional spaghetti sauce. This is my favorite kind. I will try others here and there. Just, you know, have a little bit of difference here and there. But I always come back to this one as my all-time favorite. I even like it over any kind of hand or homemade sauces or anything. So, yeah. This here I actually tried last night. Oh, my gosh. This stuff is delicious. It is the Philadelphia cream cheese spread. And it is in the garlic and herb. And I actually made this. Um, I cooked up some breakfast sausage. And then I put this in in it and cooked it together and then um i got some crescent rolls and then i put this inside the crescent rolls with some cheese shredded cheese and then folded them up and then baked it in the oven and oh my god it was to die for the sausage and cream cheese mixture was so good so when you see these don't just think of like spreading them on crackers or chips or anything like that or for dipping you can actually cook with them as well. So, like I said, that mixture was really good tonight. I've, I've got quite a bit of it left over. She is just being rotten. Um, you just want to steal the show, don't you? Um, anyway, um, I have a whole bunch of the mixture left over. So, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make quesadillas out of it. So I'm just going to fry up some quesadillas and put some more shredded cheese in there with the mixture. And oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. So definitely recommend the uh, spread cream cheeses and the different flavors to, you know, amp up your cooking. Okay, this is the Olay body wash and it's the ribbons and let's see what was this called it was eh, let's see uh the shea and blue lotus and i got this a long time ago i don't know that i've even seen this on the shelves um anytime lately so i don't even know if they make it anymore but i did enjoy this this was really nice i got it through coupon and um and when it come out, it like, it did, it shot out like, kind of like a ribbon. It looked like a ribbon. It was kind of neat looking. But, yeah, it had a really good smell. And I liked the louder and everything. But anything Olay is usually pretty darn good. Okay, this is the Kroger Deluxe Mac and Cheese. Um, shells and cheddar. Um, just that. Really good, you know. Just as good as craft, I think, so. Okay, then we have the Great Value Waffle Cut Fries. These are really good. I put these in my air fryer, 400 degrees for about 12 minutes, and boom. Bada bang. They are good to go. So, very good. Then we have the Honey Buns Iced, the Great Value brand. These are really good. I like to eat these in the morning sometimes because I do take medication in the morning. And I'm not a big breakfast eater. I love breakfast, but um, I'm just too lazy to fix it. So I'm just not a big breakfast eater. But when I do take my medication in the morning, I like to take it with some kind of food. Um... And so, these, a lot of times, I'll eat these. So, really good. Um, then, of course, we all have to have toilet paper. So, I've got the Cottonelle brand. Um, used to, I, I used to coupon. Well, I mean, still coupon. But when I coupon back in the day before, um, you know, the pandemic and all that. Um, I used to get really good deals on all kinds of brands of toilet paper and stuff. Not so much anymore. So, I just have to kind of go with what I get. But, um, if I see a sale or anything like that, Cottonelle or Quilted Northern are my two favorites. So, okay. then we have the Miracle Whip and... This is the squeeze bottle, and I just love it. It's, 
you know, convenience, what can I say? <laughs> you know, instead of having to stick a spoon in the bottle, I know, lazy, huh? And scoop it out, you just squeeze it on your sandwich and stuff. So, yeah, um, just depends on what kind of mood I'm in when I go to the grocery or if I'm doing um, shopping online or whatever as to if I get the jar or if I get the squeeze card. Okay. Then we have the Febreze, the Gain Scented. Um, this is the fabric um, smelly stuff. And with fur babies, uh, you definitely need this stuff. So, need I say more? Ain't that right, Miracle? Yeah, do you endorse this? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, if you like Gain, can't go wrong. Of course, it comes in all kinds of other scents and stuff, but... Gain is one of my favorite. Um, a staple in my pantry as far as snacks is potato chips. Potato chips are my all-time favorite kind of snack to snack on. So, the Lay's Wavy. I like these for if I have dip and stuff. So, and speaking of dip, my favorite dip is the Prairie Farms Chive Dip which is this right here. Good stuff. So, um, unfortunately, my neighborhood Walmart does not carry this anymore. Now, the big Walmart carries it, but the neighborhood would no. And they're right across the street. So, if I want this, I have to go up the street to get it to my IGA. But, yeah, this is my all-time favorite chip dip. Then, while... Miracle's probably over here being nosy. She probably smells this bag here because it is the Purina Busy Bones. And these are the tiny ones. And I don't, you get 10 in a package. And I'm thinking these were like $2 or like $3 or something. They don't make these small packages anymore, I don't think. Now they make the bigger ones that are like $7 and something. But. These are my favorite dog bones to give to my dogs because they are solid. There's no little nooks and crannies for them to get their teeth, you know, stuck in and stuff. And they absolutely love these. So, yeah, yeah, you endorse these too, don't you? Mm, yeah, there's been, been in there, so sorry. Then, let's see, my favorite shampoo and conditioner is... This here, it's the Tresemme, and it's the Moisture Rich, and this has vitamin E, and then here is the conditioner as well. These are my all-time favorite. Again, like I said, I coupon. I have tried all kinds of shampoos, and I have very, very thick hair, um, and... I always come back to this one. Even the real expensive ones like Nexus and stuff like that. Um, I just like these better. Now, I know there are some people that will tell you, you know, that the more expensive ones are better. And I just think it has all to do with your hair. Your hair, your type of hair, you know, the texture of your hair. If it's straight, if it's curly, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, what I like, you may not like. But... Personally, these are my favorite shampoos and conditioners. And I don't know what she's doing over there. Okay. Just going to ignore her. <laughs> Try to, anyway. Why can't you ignore Mama? Huh? <laughs> okay. So, here we have the Fresh Gourmet Cheese and Garlic Croutons. Um, I don't know if these are something that you can only get at IGA or not. I don't know if other stores carry them or not, but that's where I always get them is at IGA. But I really love these. They're really good. They have them in different flavors, but um, I like these. And I think they have like a garlic and herb maybe one that I like. So... And then here we have... The California Blend Vegetable Mix by Great Value. I love these. The, the California Blend is my favorite blend of vegetables. It has my favorites, the carrots, uh, 
cauliflower and broccoli and I like to fry this up with some bacon and then I also like to make like a stir fry with it with rice and put some um, like stir fry sauce from uh, Panda Express um, I put that on it and stuff and oh it's so so good and I, I think I fry sausage up in it too um, smoked sausage but really good stuff but yes this is my favorite all time um, type of mixed veggies when it comes to that it's the California blend okay here's some Easter candy these were the Hershey's cookies and cream eggs these were good you know what more can you say uh yeah, it looks like another package of the Busy Bones, like I said. Two paws up. Actually, four paws up for the doggies there. Um, here we have... This is the Schnucks brand of their original picante sauce. And I just like to use this when I'm making, like, uh, breakfast quesadillas and stuff like that. Um, a lot of times I make my own kind of salsa. It's like... I. It's a knockoff Hacienda Salsa, which is a, a Mexican restaurant here that we have here in town. And they have them in different places, too. But um, I think it's just here in Indiana. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, they have a really good salsa. And um, it's not real thick or anything. But a lot of times, you know, I don't I have any of it made up or anything. So if I don't, then I like to go with a real... Uh, thin type of picante sauce uh, that's not real thick and chunky because I don't like my sauce are real thick and chunky. So, if I want something like that, that's what I get. And this was really good. So, and it comes from Schnucks, which, again, I think is like a, um, a grocery that's not everywhere, but it's in some places. Okay, here we go, you know, um, my guilty pleasure, what can I say, the Reese's peanut butter eggs, I mean, who doesn't like these, um, yeah, need I say more, Miracle says, hmm, I think I would like those, but no, you can't have those, they have chocolate on them. And then this was something, I think these were new this year. These were brought out at Easter. They're the Kit Kat Lemon Crisps. Oh my goodness. And I can thank my online old time scrapping buddy, Susie, from California. Um, I don't know if she watches my videos or not. But she is the one that suggested these. And she was right. They were good. So... I think I ended up getting two bags of them by the time Easter was over with. Then, my favorite all-time soap for in the kitchen is the soft soap. Um, this is the Kitchen Fresh Hands, and it is antibacterial, and it is in the lemon scent. This is my favorite soap to have in there. It is not foaming. It's just regular soap, but yeah, this is my favorite And then as far as dishwashing liquid, I like to use Dawn. And since the pandemic, I've switched over to uh, any kind of antibacterial dishwashing liquid um, when I get dishwashing liquid, just to be on the safe side. So this is the orange. I usually either get the orange or I get um, the green apple scent. So both of them are good. But I like to switch it up here and there. So, okay. Then we have, again, another must-have for pet owners if you have carpet. And I live in an apartment, so most of my home is covered in carpet. This is the Pet Fresh from um, Arm & Hammer. It has the OxyClean, and it is Carpet Odor Eliminator. Like I said, a must-have with doggies and their dirty little paws when they come in from the outside. So, this just makes your carpet smell fresh. You just, you know, 
pour it on your on your carpet. It's like a powder, and I usually make the dogs go outside, or I put them in the kitchen where there is no carpet, and I have like a baby gate up at that door, and I keep them back there, and then I pour this on the carpet, and I let it sit for a little bit, and then I just vacuum it up, but um, I don't let the dogs out while I'm doing it, because I don't want it to get on their paws and then for them to lick it, because I don't think that would probably be good for them to ingest so but definitely yeah even if you don't have dogs and you have carpet you want your carpet to smell good yeah definitely recommend that then here we have the febreze air freshener um this is in the pine scent it takes me forever to get through one of these i don't know um it just takes forever and like I had this uh this one before Christmas I probably got it around Thanksgiving and I'm just now getting through with it and it is May so I probably got through with it last month which was April but yeah it takes me a while to get through one of those but I do use a lot of uh wax melts so that's probably why I don't use a lot of the actual air fresheners okay then we have one of the scent sensationals and this is the caramel apple spice and this smelt really really good my favorite scents are the fall scents and i pretty much use them year round so i'm not much of a floral scent and I don't know, a lot of the fruity scents and stuff that they have in the summer and springtime, um, I just don't care for because I kind of think they smell kind of stinky like or something. But I love the fall scents and like the smell of like something baking and stuff like that. I think it smells good. I'm taking stuff out of packages because when I put my empties in my box to accumulate, um, doesn't take long for it to get full, so I open up other boxes and put stuff in them. Okay, let's see, what were these? Oh, I know what these were. These were the Girl Scout cookies. And they were called Toast Yay. Is that right? Yeah, Toast Yay. They came in a package like this. I only got one package, unfortunately, of these. And I could have a, a case of these. These cookies taste just like French toast. Straight up, if you were cooking French toast in a pan, that's what these cookies tasted like. And my mom actually picked these up for me. Um, I told her if she was out anywhere um, and seen anybody selling Girl Scout cookies to pick me up a package of these because they were the newest cookie that they'd brought out and I hadn't tried them yet, of course. And so she happened to see them, and it was, like, right at the very end of when they were selling Girl Scout cookies. And, of course, we never seen a little Girl Scout selling cookies after that. Because, like I said, I probably would have bought a case of these. So, these were so good. Well, I don't know. I probably wouldn't have bought a case because they were expensive. I think they went up to, like, $5? I don't know. It was something crazy. But um, my mom bought these for me, so thanks, mom. <laughs> but these were, they were really, really good. So next year, you can bet I'm going to buy me at least two packages of these, you know, depending on the price. But, um, yeah, they were really good. I'm hoping that Walmart comes out with a knockoff because Walmart has been known to come out with a lot of knockoffs of the... Um, Girl Scout cookies. So that's what I'm hoping for. So we can have them all year round. 
Okay, these here are like uh, the Swiffer uh, refills, uh, but they're from the Dollar Tree, and you get 20 in the pack. Um, I think that they've decreased the packs. This is an old pack. I don't think you get as many in a pack anymore, but I also think it depends on the season, too. Um, sometimes they'll have, like, bonus packs and stuff. This was probably a bonus. But, um, yeah, these, they're just as good as Swiffer. You know, they do the job just like they do. They are, I will say, a little bit wetter. And, you know, I guess that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing, depending, you know. But I kind of wring them out just a little bit before I put them on there because they are super duper wet. Um, so I do do that, but they do the same job and they fit on the Swiffer mop, so, and a whole heck of a lot cheaper than the Swiffer refills. Okay, then I have a small garbage can in my kitchen because I live in an apartment and floor space is very limited here. So, plus, I also like having a little garbage can because that way it doesn't get that full. And I have to take it outside and throw it away. So, I don't have stinky trash in there and stuff. So, um, that's a good thing, too. Because if I had a big trash can, I wouldn't take my trash out until it got full. And chances are, it would be stinking before I took it out. So, um, yeah, it's a good thing that I do have a little trash can. But my favorite trash bags uh, to get are the medium uh, trash bags from um, Target. And this is just their brand. And they come in different scents. Um, I'm trying to see what these are. Oh, this is the fresh scent. I think they have a vanilla scent, too. But you will also see me get uh, trash bags sometimes on my empties from Walgreens. And that's because I get them through couponing, and they're almost just as good, I would say, almost. Uh, they will rip sometimes and stuff. Um, these will rip occasionally, but I have more rips with the Walgreens ones. But if I can get them free, you know, I'm going to use the freebie stuff and uh, just be a little bit careful about taking the trash out of the And then, of course, when I can't get to a Dollar Tree and I need the Swiffer uh, things, then I buy the Swiffer refills. Plus, I get these sometimes uh, couponed. I haven't gotten these in a long time. But, yeah, who doesn't like the stuff that smells like um, game? That's what these smell like is game. So, yep. Good stuff. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what kind this was, but it was a Magnum um, ice cream bar. My brother had bought a pack of them, and then he gave me one, and oh my goodness, anything Magnum ice cream is good. That's all I can say. Like I said, I don't remember exactly what this was, but it had caramel. It was like caramel and chocolate and uh, vanilla ice cream. You know, just goodness on a stick. But yeah, if you've never tried Magnum ice cream, definitely give it a try. You will like it. I promise you. And then this here is... It is the Garnier Fructis. This is the Flat Iron Perfection uh, Straightening Mist. And I like to use this after I have gotten out of the shower. I like to spray this on my hair and then blow dry it. Um, I feel like it helps with straighten it. Because I do have relatively straight hair, but, you know, there are some pieces that just kind of want to get a little bit of a wave to them. So this does help with straightening those because I don't like to mess with the straightener and all that. I'm just like simple as simple can be. And I just like to either let my hair blow or air dry or I blow dry it and brush it and I'm done with it. You know, I don't do a whole lot to it. 
Um, this here is the Airwick, and it is air freshener, and it is the apple cinnamon medley, and I have like a, um, a little, uh, thing in my bathroom that this sits in, it's, op it's battery operated, and you take the you take that off and it pushes that down like ever so often gives like a mist or whatever i like the idea of it i will say that but i'll tell you what i put it in my bathroom and i put it on my sink in my bathroom and it sprays and it when it sprays it gets on my sink so i have to go in there and wash it off my sink you know at night time plus it gets on my floor and when it gets on my bathroom floor it makes it kind of slippery and stuff but uh, it makes your bathroom smell so good so you know it's like a trade-off I guess and then here we have that is the cinnamon toast crunch little breakfast bars you get them in a box of like six, I think, or something like that. Really, really good. Like I said a while ago, I'm not much of a breakfast eater. Um, only because I'm lazy and don't take breakfast a lot. But I do take medication, so I like to have something quick and easy always on hand to take my medication in the morning with. And so, those do the job. And then, these I got at Walmart. They are the Cinnabon cheddar roll sausage and egg uh, sandwiches and they look like that you get two in a package these were okay i mean they were good but um when i buy them again i might i don't know they weren't nothing like fantabulous or anything like that um but what drew me to them the most is well of course they're cinnamon um but I can't really say that they were real, real sweet tasting or anything. But I liked it because it was just sausage and egg. There was no cheese on it. These are the only biscuit, breakfast biscuits that I have found in the frozen department at any grocery store that is just sausage and egg. They always are either sausage, just plain sausage, or... If you get the sausage and egg, they have to add the cheese. And I don't want cheese. I just want sausage and egg. So, Jimmy Dean and all you other breakfast makers, uh, you know, come on. Bring out just sausage and egg biscuits. We can get them at McDonald's, but, you know, I want the kind that I can just put in my freezer and fix at home. You know? So... But yeah, these were okay, but like I said, I don't know that I would buy them again. Okay, these here are vanilla wafers, and they are the Murray brand. These are my favorite vanilla wafers. I don't just eat vanilla wafers. The only time I ever have vanilla wafers is if I make um, banana pudding. And these are my favorite vanilla wafers to use, and they are quite a bit cheaper than regular vanilla wafers, so... Um, yeah, I like those. Those are a must when I'm going to make, um, when I'm going to make a banana pudding. And then here, what can I say? It's just a plastic bag, but you see the word Dixie, no shame in my game. Uh, what can I say? My dinnerware, a lot of times, is paper. <laughs> you know, it's easy. You know, what else can you say? You eat your food and then you throw your plate away. No um, dishes. So, yep, like I said, no shame in my game. And then we're getting down to the last few things. These here are, let's see, what do you call these? They're called the Botanical, or wait, could be not. Botanic. This is the Caribbean 
sweet grass and sandalwood. And there's the um there's the air fry or they're the things that you put in the little plugins in the wall, but they're not like the the uh, the regular kind. They're more like the uh, oh, what do you call them? The oils, the scented oils or whatever. Uh, they're like those and stuff. And uh, these smell so so good. I like them better than the other kind, than the older style kind. So, but they're a little more pricier, but I got these on couponing, so, yeah, buddy. And then, two more things left. So, these here are the Simply Cheetos Puffs and the White Cheddar, and these are so good. I'm telling you, if you get a bag of these and you sit down and start watching TV, you will look down in about a half an hour and your bag will be gone. <laughs> I am not kidding. Um, me and my doggies, what can I say? We can do some damage to a bag of these real quick. Because um, it's usually I'll eat one. Then I give one to Miracle, and then I give one to Jackson. Then I'll eat one, and we go through the whole thing again. And like I said, 30 minutes later, I'm looking inside an empty bag. So, but these are so good. I've hooked my mom onto these. My aunt's hooked on them. And um, I see a lot of people doing grocery hauls where they get these, which is where I see them for the first time and decided to try them. And yeah, I know what all the hype is about because they are good. You know, I always say that Lay's potato chips are my favorite snack, but those, they are a very close tie to my Lay's potato chips. And then the last thing I have to share is this pepperoni. It is the decent. Detroit style deep dish pizza and it's from the Motor City Pizza Company and I've seen a I think it's I think her name is Fallon and she's from the Moss family I think here on YouTube she does a lot of um, grocery hauls and family vlogs and uh, cooking videos and stuff like that she did a pizza challenge and um she tried all kinds of pizzas with her family and stuff. And at the end of the challenge, you know, after they tried, I don't know, 20 pizzas maybe? I don't know. It was a lot. This was her family's favorite. And um, I found mine at my neighborhood Walmart. So, uh, hopefully, I know a lot of people have had, I've seen a lot of people that have seen her video and have tried to find this. And they have a hard time finding it. So I don't know if it's like a pizza that's only carried regionally or, you know, just at certain places or whatever. But I know I did find mine. I looked at uh, the big Walmart and I didn't find it there. But at my neighborhood Walmart, which is right across the street from me, they had them. And this was really, really good. Um, but I have to say, still my all-time favorite frozen pizza is uh tostinos uh or totinos or whatever they are my favorite old school you know just brings me back to my childhood and as a matter of fact i had one of those the night before last with their pizza rolls so to me that is just you know heaven <laughs> and it's easy to make but yeah i will definitely buy these again um I would buy them probably when I was going to eat them because I have a small freezer. Well, actually, I have a big freezer, but um, it's at my mom's house. So, I haven't brought it to my apartment yet because I still got to clean out a place in my big uh, closet to put it in. So, if I was to buy one of these, I'd buy it when I knew I was going to eat it that night because my 
freezer space here at home actually is very, very limited, and it is quite a big box and stuff. But uh, hopefully soon, my freezer is going to be here in my closet. Anyway, I'm hoping here within the next couple of weeks. And when that happens, then I won't have to worry about that. So I will probably buy one just to keep on hand in the freezer for when I want something a little bit different. And this is what I'll go to because I'm not a fan of like uh, Tombstone or Jax or um, DiGiorno. I'm not a fan of those pizzas. I just, I don't think they're that good. But this was, it was good. So, enough talking, enough gabbing. You see my, see my miracle. Come here, miracle. Come here. You gonna say bye? You gonna tell him bye? Huh? Oh, usually she won't come to me, but there she is. She is. She will be a year old. Um, I think on the 18th or the 19th of this month. And yeah, she is a mess. But when she was born, she was born with a heart condition, and she had to have heart surgery and. Yeah, she had a rough to go when she first started out in life, but you would never know it now. Oh, she is just, I've never had a puppy that has been so full of energy. And uh, I'm like, is she ever going to grow out of it? Because like I said, she'll be a year old in the middle of this month and she's still not grown out of it. And poor Jackson, you know, he'll be 12 and... July, and he's a little old man, you know, he's my little old man Yorkie, and she just doesn't understand why he doesn't have the energy that she has, and she beats up on him, sometimes my mom comes over here and takes him to her house so he can get a break from her and stuff, but um, it was really funny too, my bonus niece came over this past weekend, and uh, it was the first time she got to meet Miracle, and I didn't know how Miracle would do because she'd never been around kids, but she absolutely loved her. And uh, my little niece, she loved her too. And they were like the best of friends and stuff. But I think by the time Cindy went home, Miracle was like, whew, you know, <laughs> she had met her match. But it was kind of funny to see her meet her match because she's used to Jackson, you know, who's like all laid back and just lets her do whatever, you know. But, yeah, that's my baby. That's my empties. I hope you enjoyed everything. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.